Hi, I'm the Registrar and Director of Registration and Practice at Asset. Um, one of the things that um, is very important for those coming from other countries to understand about engineering in Canada is that it's made up of a team of professionals from trades to technicians to technologists and engineers. Oftentimes, uh, the work experience that uh, engineering professionals from other countries have obtained is at the technician and technologist level. Um, and that is not a step down from being an engineer in Canada. These are all well-respected professions in their own right. And it's important to understand that in Canada, the uh, profession you may belong to is as a technician or technologist. ASSET is the provincial regulator for uh, science and engineering technicians and technologists in the province. And one of the roles that we have is to issue certification for qualified professionals. We issue the Certified Technician or CTEC designation and the Certified Engineering Technologist or CET designation. And those are great credentials for science or engineering professionals coming from other countries to obtain in terms of making them more competitive and employable in the Alberta workplace. Uh, employers across um, Alberta and across the country recognize these credentials and so it can really give an internationally trained professional an edge when they're competing for jobs in the workplace. In addition, um, for those coming from other countries, ASSET tries to make the process as streamlined as possible, um, including recognize, recognizing experience that is obtained in another country. The experience does not have to be obtained in Canada, as well as recognizing documentation that has been used as part of the immigration process. And that includes um, an international qualifications assessment of academic credentials and English language test results. Before the application process, it's definitely very essential to gather as much documentation as possible. We've heard from many um, internationally trained professionals that it can be challenging to obtain documentation after they've already come to Canada. Oftentimes, they will have to go back to their country to obtain their academic credentials, or they just don't have access to any of their workplace documentation. So if possible, get as much of that together before coming to Canada. It will just really streamline the process. Uh, during the certification process, uh, we do have an interim designation TT that can be very useful for individuals as they're seeking work. It's also a recognized designation across the province. Um, and because the process can take up to six months to obtain certification, it's a great designation to hold until you've actually completed that certification process. And after, these, uh, after the application process, um, the individual will have obtained a recognized credential. Again, that will help with employability in the province. And ASSET also provides a number of supports um, throughout the life of that individual's membership, for everything from mentoring to networking to professional development opportunities, um, all designed to be there for that person as they advance through their career. Organizations like Braden play such an important role in getting the right information to those who are coming from other countries. It can be very overwhelming because there are so many things to learn and so many challenges faced, whether it's in the community or seeking employment. So working with an organization uh, like Braden allows us to get information on the certification process to the individuals who need it and that allows them to move through the process faster and to understand the process better. So it's really an essential partnership um, for organizations with Braden um, to work with regulators across the province and to provide those easier pathways for those coming from other countries. Your foreign qualification recognition journey begins with Braden.